Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about recovering MySQL which cannot be started with SAM. So sometimes you see like this. So when you press the start button, it just won't start and then you see that it shut down unexpectedly. And then even when you go to the logs here, you cannot see any useful information there. So for example here, my error log is something like this. You will see some information that is not very useful it says that your database may be corrupted but you don't have any idea on what's causing the problem or how to fix it so this happens quite frequently especially when your windows shuts down unexpectedly so basically when the mysql service does not shut down as usual okay let's get started so these are the steps i have written them down in the description below so we are assuming that you have the original MySQL data directory. So in my case, it is actually located in D folder and then SAM, MySQL, and then data. So this is all my database directories. So all this still contains important information and basically all my database rows are still there, but just we cannot access them. So first what you are going to do, you are assuming that you cannot start MySQL as I have demonstrated. So you find out your original SAM version. If you don't know, just feel free to use the latest one. And then you prepare the original empty data folder, which is the same folder as our MySQL slash data folder, but from the original source. So here, the easiest way is to get it from the portable installation. So you just go to here and then go to your platform. Let's say I'm on Windows and then Get the latest one if you want. So get the same portable windows in 7-zip format. So here I have prepared the folder. What you need to do to take the MySQL slash data folder. So just access the zip file or you just need to extract all that. Okay, once your unpacking is done, then you will find the data directory is located in here. So this is what we need to bring later on. So now in your broken data folder, you need to move this broken data folder into somewhere. So just to make it easier, so this is the original broken data folder. Let's rename it to data2. I'm going back to my, this is my original SAM installation directory. So I'll just rename that to data2 and problem is settled. So I'm going to delete this folder which I do not use anymore. So now we don't have the data folder anymore. Make sure you delete the broken data folder. In my case, I just rename it to data2 and replace it with the original empty data folder. So from the original installation, you just take the data directory, copy that, and then this is the same installation directory. Now you have the original one here. Now the next step is to just check the MySQL if you are able to start it. It can be started now. Next, you can also check at this point, right? You can also check localhost slash PHP my admin just to make sure that the MySQL works. But never mind, it already starts and it already has a port here and we have waited for a couple of seconds. It doesn't shut down, means we can proceed to the next step. And then step number six is to copy the database folders from inside the backup folder to the broken data folder. So in my case, this one is actually data2, right? So you need to exclude the built-in folders like these four. So I just take the folders, okay? I exclude the test and then MySQL, performance schema, and PHP my admin. Okay, exclude these four. It's good to just copy, so you keep this as a backup folder still, so you are not deleting anything from this folder. And then go to data folder, you paste it in there. Okay, now the copying is almost completed. Now, we have the data folder already. Let's start again the MySQL. Okay, so at this point, you are able to start MySQL. So let's try out to go to PHP My Admin and see if our databases are there. Actually, you can see your database. However, we haven't replaced the index file. So the problem here, if 
you go to one of your databases and then click on the tables, you won't be able to see the data. So essentially, it's detecting the folders, but it does not recognize the files inside it. Because in our case, in my case here, I'm using InnoDB storage, which requires an index file to be able to work properly. Right? So the next step is to actually replace the index file back. So we're going to stop the MySQL again and then refer to our steps here. And then this is very important. Make sure you have the IB data one from the previous backup folder. We are going to put it back to our broken data folder. Let's check that out. So the difference is huge. So in the original SAM directory, your IB data one, the index file, is still empty. So this is the original size, 12 megabytes. And my original size here is actually much larger at two gigabytes. Okay, so I'm going to take this one again, better not to cut this one. So in case anything goes wrong, you can still have your original data. So I'm going to just copy that and replace the one originally from SAM installation. I have this index file back. Now, next step is to start my SQL. At this point, hopefully it will work. If it doesn't work, then it will require more advanced method to restore that. Okay, now let's go back to our PHP my admin. Now, at this point, we will be able to view our table content. That's it for my tutorial. If you are unable to restore it using this method, means your database might have some serious corruption. You need to do a more advanced method, which I'm not covering here. Hopefully in the next video. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe.